was about 1957, and I was waiting in an office for a dentist. And I saw this photograph. It could not have been more than one inch tall in a magazine. And I had a very surprising, surprising to me, emotional reaction to this picture. Who, it, who had taken it meant nothing to me. And that it had significance as a, a work of art had no meaning to me. But I can remember almost out loud saying back to the picture as if I owed it a response. This is another Christ. As, as though this resurrection was just as real and just as true and happening all around us all of the time. Uh, very quickly after that, I had the experience of turning the pages of The Family of Man. I think I was shown by a friend who felt I was too excited about photography and needed to be brought down just a little bit. I, I had remembered some fellow students saying in Virginia, isn't this terrible? We have to take photography classes. <laughs> and the, uh, it's this simple. The encounter with that Adams photograph, the young grasses in front of the burned tree, gave me a confidence in my own emotional foundation. I had, Why should I be afraid of any authority? You know, I know it exactly how I felt. And that experience of Robert Frank came in this way in the, in the pages of The Family of Man. And as I turned the pages, I came 40 pages later to a second picture with exactly the same feeling as the first that I had seen. And this time I felt feeling just a little bit scientific and I looked under the photo and found the name of the artist, turned back this 40 pages. And I wasn't completely surprised that the feeling in these pictures matched so perfectly that the name under both pictures was Robert Frank. And this set in my mind uh, a, another level of self-confidence that the feeling which is exhibited by the image has already inhabited the person who discovers it. It's as if we pick up a camera and we go into the world, but we can never do but what we already know. It's already a part of us before our eyes become open to it. And Robert Frank, Henri Cartier-Bresson, Eugene Atje, Walker Evans, the, these are the people who form the first foundation and background for my work. Now, I'd actually, through the uh, help of one of my painting teachers, been in New York City in 1963 and had been sent by this teacher to visit Robert Frank. Um, he thought I was doing okay. He said, you could either come to New York and do fashion he said, don't worry, it's just like going to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> or you could study with somebody. And he, he recommended Callahan. And already in the back of my heart, that decision had been made. Now I'm showing you this because those four, first four pictures are the kind of thing that were inside this little volume. This is my senior thesis from Richmond, Virginia, 1965. And it's concerning America and Alfred Stieglitz, which is really a book, but I took the meaning double. I mean, it was concerning America. It was concerning my relationship to Alfred Stieglitz. Um, I'd come home one night, and on my desk was a sheet of drawing paper, graph paper, mathematics paper. And I, I felt... Um,